guys, welcome back to Bowls Our Bros, TCG. And today, for you guys, we will be profiling and styling our Tapu Coco Raikou deck. I told him not to say that, by the way. Completely his idea. Uh, the main attacker is... Well, there's not necessarily an attacker. It could be either your Raikou here with the attack Thunder Lance, which does 50 base, but does 20 more for each lightning energy attached to it. Which we could get by just mainly attaching lightning energy, or by Electrode over here, who provides two lightning energies as a special energy once it kills itself. And then we have four Max Elixirs, because Raikou is a basic, so it can be Max Elixir 2 on the bench. And then our other attacker here, we have Tapu Koko GX from Guardians Rising, which, uh, due to its ability, Arrow Tail. Can't, uh, brief cameo there by Voltorb, sorry. Um, due to its ability, Arrow Tail. When you place it on your bench, it, it can take as much energy as you want, and it can be brought into the active position. So if you have something like Shaman or Lele or Voltorb that you don't want in the active. And then we also run one Lele and one Shaman just for consistency purposes. Uh, two Crushing Hammers just for a little bit of energy denial. Max Elixirs, again, for hitting the Raikou, or the Tapu Koko, or even the Voltorb. So then you Tapu Koko down, Arrow Trail, and then get the energy from Vol Voltorb onto Tapu Koko. Then, four males, four Ultra Balls. Just like any Yeah, consistency. Four Via Seekers. Four Via Seekers, you know, four Sycamores, three Ends. The usual, two Lysanders in here. We tacked in one Kukui, so, because it's one because we have a full art, and two because it's pretty good. And three, we, ha we have uh, three eighth or Paradise Conservation Areas in our stadium. And that's because our lightning, our basic lightning Pokemon, like Raikou and Koko, can take 30 less damage from attacks, which can really help out. And then we have two Choice Bands and two Fighting Fury Bells so that they can split it. Sometimes they need more HP, sometimes they need extra attack. You know, it's, it's just good. And then we have one float stone for things like Electrode or Voltorb, Lele or Shaman that you don't want in your active. And then we run 12 energies and two of our secret red lightning energies because we're extra. So let's get battling. We probably want, I mean, it's okay to start out with anyone because. You know, Tapu Koko's Arrow Trail is nice to get up into the active. Yeah. So, I mean, anyone's really good to start with. You don't really want to start with Raikou. Koko or Voltorb are usually better to start with. I know saying starting with Voltorb sounds weird, but it's usually what you want to do. So you can max looks to your attackers on the bench. And we start with Koko or Voltorb, our choice. And our opponent is going to take Mulligan. I'm gonna give us the the cocoa to start with. Okay. It honestly wouldn't have mattered probably in the long run unless he tried to kill our Voltorb. And oh. it's for Ninja Break. Ninja Frog Break, thank you. Golden Ninja Frog. Okay. Well, either way, it's gonna be a tough matchup. And I'm like... Ooh, Talonflame. Ooh, it is weak to us, so our Coco will one, oh, one shot anyway with the Sky High Claws, because yeah, 130. So. Okay, let's give this thing a... There's no EXs or GXs in here, so let's give it a Fury Belt. And then let's mail... Nope. I'll pull, I'll, I'll pull Lightning Energy out of the mail. <laughs> Ooh, and you grab... If we get Electro for next turn, or do we get Eighth of Paradise Conservation Area and then Sycamore? I saw say we do get Eighth of Paradise and then we Sycamore. Okay. Yeah. And then Sycamore can get Lysander in the discard. So which... then you can VS Seeker for him later if you need to. Yep. A, you have some energy. And an Electro for next turn. Another Voltorb. And that's a Shea for two right here. Not ideal, but. I mean, shade for anything is nice, really. Yeah. It's just an all-around good card. And more energies. <laughs> we do run 12, so. 
Good thing we can literally for like an end next turn. Yeah. Because we can electro on that Coco and it for 130 next turn. And then we can get, we won't have anything that gives light energy too, so we'll need to Lele for an end. And leave the last bench spot open for a, uh, a Raikou. Well, either way, we'll get free a bench space when we knock out our Voltorb by evolving it into Electrode. And the good thing about Lele and for an end is that uh, when he does use the uh, Aero Blitz, we'll be able to end away whatever he grabs. Unless he uses it. Oh, no, he can't use no, it's it. No, it's an attack. That's, that's cool. We're gonna have to take 40 damage though. No, we'll take 10 damage because of our Ace of Paradise. And then we'll hit 260 on him. As long as he doesn't end us, because we have sort of a nice hand for next turn. Well, we don't have. Oh, yeah, we can Electric. Then... And then Lele for an end. Because we don't want to discard all that energy. Ooh, yeah, just 10 damage. Ooh, boy. He's gonna grab something that we're gonna end away. We gotta evolve to Electrode first. Yeah, and are we gonna attach, or is Electrode just gonna go on? Yeah, because Electrode just go on, because you don't want more than three. Okay. Raikou's the one where you want to overstack energy as much as possible. Kalkos only need three. Because they can't do more damage for more energy. We just gotta murk everything before the Greninjas get out. Exactly, and that's the only way we're Even before Frogadier, because Frogadier is hecka annoying. Oh, we just... Oh, we top decked in them, we don't even need to play Lele. Well, well Electrode... Yeah. Well, let's add Thunder onto the Coco. Oh, onto Coco, make sure. Well, let's take a prize here. Technically, we're down, but we're in a way better position. But that means he can't Ace Trainer us as well, because that's a big thing in Greninja. Okay, what does Ace Trainer do? Uh, you, you can only play this card when you have uh, more ca prize cards left. No, more prize cards left than your opponent. And then your opponent shuffles in and draws three. You shuffle in and draw six. And Greninja's known to play that. And I'm gonna grab a Raikou here, since I have one on the bench. Then we haven't attached this turn I know, so we're gonna attach the energy. And then we can see what we want to do next turn. And right now we're just gonna Sky High Claws for one Knockout. 260, actually. Plus the Fury Belt, 270. 280. Oh. You apply Fury Belt before our weakness. Oh, yeah, you do. It's only one prize here. Everything in this game is only gonna be one prize, which is gonna be really annoying. We do get the lightning energy, so those we can attach to Raikou. Hopefully he doesn't bench anything here. That would be ideal, and we win. Yeah, automatic win. Unless we decided to tap in Thunder and just... <laughs> for nothing. Uh, uh yuck, first, first Oh, well, one. it's not going to kill us. As long as oh, he Oh, if he evolves it to Frogadier, though, then he'll... And then we got problems. Well, you if know, he hits a... Ah, uh, nope, nope, it's over. Hey, yeah. Uh, and yeah, he he All right, so that was a great ma first match, especially against Greninja Break. Let's yeah. see what we get out of our prizes here. Got three tournament tickets. That's so not we bad. We do have enough to enter another tournament now at some point. All right, let's get into another match here with Tapu Koko and Raikou. So you know what would have been really scary is if he got out all those Frogadiers. I know. Because I hate water duplicates. It's oh just so gosh. annoying. But I mean, that's what makes the deck, you know. I know. It helps it run. Oh, are we versing Garb? Oh, no. It Garb, looks like Garb, Drampa Garb. It's Psychic Normal. I wouldn't doubt it if it was Drampa Garb. But they have a Lunala coin. It's the only crop. It's the only... Let's go second, because we can attack uh, first turn. Whoops. And knock out one hit, knock out a Garb. <laughs> Congratulations, Sam. Well, if anything, we can attach to the Voltorb and then Tapu Koko. Oh, well, Tapu Koko, so Tapu Koko can be in the active with an energy on him already. Yep. So it's oh. Toxapex. Toxapex. Huh. Well, we're going first, aren't we? Yep. Save the Fury Belt for Koko. Ooh, Max Elixir. Okay, so Ultra Ball away, Hammer and Lightning Energy okay. for Koko. And then Max Lex onto the Voltorb? We don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. Can we grab a Lele? Yeah, that'd be smarter. Or not a Sycamore, though, because they're two good things. We want to grab an N. Yeah. Fury Ball and Max Lex are both really crucial in this deck. I 
another Voltorb, but there's no Pokemon we got. Okay. We're gonna have to Sycamore next turn. Yeah, we'll attach and then Sycamore, I guess. Yeah. We'll attach to the same Voltorb because we don't want to have to electrode a Voltorb that has. Well, and then another electrode that has one. Oh, we see level all to grab. Oh. Nebby, it is Lunala. Lunala Marine? Yes. Uh, Toxapex, not Toxapex. Marine. Toxapex. <laughs> He's just running the Marine for the heck of it, you know. No Garb. Well, I guess there could be a Garb. I sure hope not. I hate Lunala if they get it out there. The psychic transfer is just so annoying. The Skylink is more. You ran a Skyla? Oh gosh, I very much dislike Skylas. Heavy Ball. Does it have a rare candy in hand? No. Okay. Oh, we do grab an Ultra Ball, so. We can get an Elect. No, we want to. So we want to attach here? Yeah. We want to Coco, get rid of Lysander and Kukui, so we can. Uh... Oh, it doesn't really matter if we're going to Sycamore. Yeah, we're going to Sycamore. But get Coco. Throw him on the bench and give him the two energies and put him in the active. Mm -hmm. uh, might not have been smart to attach an energy. Because if we're going to Electro, then we'll overstack and have four, and we don't want four on the Coco. Okay. Which means he won't be able to attack this turn. If we decide, unless we decide to put an Electro on him. I say Electro just so we can hit for the knockout. Okay. So we attach a. My choice isn't really needed here. It will be for Toxapex and, uh, and whatever. Lunala. 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 Okay. Um, what we could do is, if you don't want to overstack, we can Ultra Ball for another Coco, grab one energy from the Coco, bring it up to the active, and then Electro. <laughs> and then we have the choice bin. So we'll have to get rid of... Do you want to do that? We'll have to get rid of two Lightning Energies to do that, then, because we don't want to get rid of Sycamore or Choice Band, because that's going to be... Three. We do run 12, though. We've already got rid of one. Yeah, okay. We'll be okay. Especially if we get a Coco going this early. And then we can Electrode again next turn, and we'll have three Energies on both of them. And, both, and they both have Choice Bands also. We'll only take one. Yep. Then we'll and attach then, the choice. And then Electrode. And then we have a Sycamore for a fresh seven next turn. Then we'll Buzz Up Thunder onto the Coco. I don't like to attack with the normal one, not the full art one. First world struggle struggles. And then Sky High Claws. For a knockout. Bam. I like the little animations. Yeah, it's cool. The annoying one is the steel one though, because it goes and it has like has to do that for like ten whole seconds before you can attack. <laughs> Why do they do it for like a dual type one? Like, I'm pretty sure with Volcanion it shows the fire thing, yeah. even though he's part water type. Which I think is discrimination, but you know. Well, his energy requirements are fire, so... No, no, you get Spike Cannon this turn. Hold up. You can hit for up to 120. But then we cannot one-hit knockout. We're only hit for 160. The thing about Tapu Coco, though, is... And nope, we can tap the thunder for 180 next turn if he taps an energy. Does oh, he has include, psychic transfer. Does that include the choice? Yeah. Okay. Because tap the thunder would do one. Oh, he didn't even attach an energy. So we could only tap the thunder for. Hey, we're not going to for anything because 30 minus 30 is zero. Ooh, so we can. Sir, onto, onto what? Coco? Yeah, let's do it on Coco. Okay, then we're going to have to manually attach another energy onto that Coco and not electrode onto it. We're going to have to electrode onto Sigma? it. What do we call Raikou? Yep. Voltarb and an Electro. But we do not have a Raikou, but we can max Blitzer to that last Coco. Or manually attach. We can attach. Then another Voltorb. Yeah. We don't want an Electro yet because we have nothing to give it to. Yep. So. So, what do we have in our discard? The, the Seeker of Wolf. And Kukui. Kukui and Lysander. Okay. Sky High Claws. Sky High Claws this yep. time. For 160. So we'll have a guaranteed knockout, so this thing, I doubt he's going to attach any more energies to it. Well, what he could He do, could psychic transfer it back to the Lunala. He could attach, then psychic transfer up to the Toxapex and super intense poison. 
Oh no, but it goes to the Lunala. Yeah, he's gonna take it back because already has 160 damage on it. I think he's, he's just gonna. Oh, he's gonna max potion and then it's like it transfer all of it back. Oh. They can only use an ability one turn. Um, that's not. And yeah, we're probably gonna do that too. Yeah. I was thinking about Lysandering up the Lunala. He gets two hit knockout on that thing. Ooh, hey, Raikou. two electrodes and a Raikou and an energy. So we can have five energies on this Raikou by the end of this turn. Oh boy. Which is hundred which is one hundred and fifty damage from a Raikou. And then we can Shea for a lot. We can't no Sam our our best, no, uh, no we're yeah, we can get out. the electrodes. And then we can Shea for six. Six. But then we'll only have to knock out two Pokemon to win the game because we've already knocked out all three electrodes. He's got a super intense poison here, and this Coco will die by the end of our next turn. Or bring in Raikou. We don't want to electrode too much, though. Just because, like you said, it gives up a prize. Which is the only bad thing about an electrode. Is he going to total, sh total shelter for 150? Yep. Because he got rid of our Aether Paradise, too. Oh, okay, so Total Shelter, it's yeah, done yeah. to this Pokemon. We can Lysander up the Lunala. Yeah, so Then him. we can Tapu Thunder GX for 230. But you won't kill it. No. Because we can't, can't Kukui. Yeah, because we would have Lysandered. Um, I say we I, Lysander I say, it. I say we do it anyways. Oh, but then Max Elixir is a problem. Because of Psychic Transfer. I th think it's the better idea. How to get rid of it. Or we could take a knockout on the Shea. Get two prizes. I say we take the Shea. Okay. And Sky had Claws on it. Yep. And it would have hit for weakness. So then, then try to. One or two Electrodes. Definitely once with an attack, and we'll wait on the last one. Won't even. I wouldn't even shave this turn. I would just wait, wait for everything. Let him take that, and then attack manually attach lightning energy to hit for one ten, and then we'll see what happens. And that's it. Just got high claws for the knockout here. We'll take two prizes. Yep. Three twenty. Oh yeah. Choice. Aether, Paradise, and an energy. So we can manually capture that Raikou without having to Electrode again. Yep. Barak Lunala, because he can retreat for free with uh, Altar of the Moon. Mooney. Is he going to Lysander? No, he's going to oh, Skyla. Skyla. I'll probably be like, snipe the Raikou off the bench or something. That would have been bad. I wonder what he's going to grab with Skyla, though. A level ball. Is he trying to set up something else again? Are you trying to set up another Toxapex? Is he going to get another Marini or another Nebby? Well, if we... If he brings out a Marini, okay. Yeah. We can hit for the knockout on either the Lunala or the Toxapex. If he catches an energy here, we can one-shot the Lunala. But he won't catch an energy because he's going to psych psychic transfer it around. And I believe he can... Again, he can Moon Gex me if he takes them all, but he's not going to. Oh, he did. Knockout on your... That isn't his Pokemon GX. So he could just merc that Raku on the bench there. No, but he took GX all four. Guy. Okay, so he's got a Moon Geist Beam and knock this thing out. So, so we I bring in Raikou to stall, because the only thing I want to take one prize for it. So from now on, we cannot Electrode. Okay. But Raikou can get a two-hit knockout on this thing, because he can't use that again next turn, right? Yeah. No, he can. Oh, it's only 120, though. We find a Fury Bell. We need to find a Fighting Fury Bell. So Shaman first, and then... See if we, and then be a secret for an end if we don't find anything. Well, we take 20 less damage. Oh, and 30 from that, so 50 yep. less. Um, oh, we hit the elixirs with Raikou not on the bench anymore. We yeah. don't want to elixir to anything. We could Ultra Ball. For what? Oh, for other, other Raikou. Yeah, let's see what we hit from, well, we'll Ultra Ball whatever we hit from the nail if it's bad, and then an Electrode. Um, probably a Float. Yeah. And then get, get rid of the float and the electrode for another Raikou. And 
and we put Rye, we get Rye Fu and put him on the bench. And then we attempt two max electros, and then we stick him more for a fresh set, fresh seven. And then we're down to five in our deck. So then we're not digging anymore. Yeah. And I don't even know if we have an energy left. It doesn't look like it. Hopefully we have something here. Oh, and an ad ad banner for heroes. Whew. It's fun. Alright, let's take him off for seven. And this game can't get, go more than five turns unless we end back in and A, we pull the Fury Ball too. Just extra. And another elixir. So if there is an energy there. Okay, there is one energy. So if we had an Electro, we could attack with that thing, attack with that thing, but these two are our last hope. Yeah. The Raikou and the Coco. So let's Thunder Lance here for a hundred something. 140, okay. So we have a two-hit knockout, unless he psychic transfers it all away and then max potions, which would be super, super annoying. Oh, max elixir. This is just powering up our uh, tap and thunder. Oh, yeah. Because if we can get an... And we only have a one retreat right here. So we can still hit attack if we only retreat with one energy. Raikou's still an uh, available attacker. Well, now we can tap and thunder GX for the knockout if he max potions. Yeah, but that's... Oh, Lysander. He's going to hit the Shea for knockout? Yep. Uh... And then he wins 120, exactly. Oh, he had it. I... If he didn't have it right there... Good I think he would have won. Well, I mean, that showed the full potential. Yeah. We were really hitting for some damage there. We, we almost ran out of cards. So that was a good match. Let's get in uh, one more here for you guys. That's Hopefully we can pull out another win. I've seen a bunch of those decks of the Marinis. I, not the Marini. Toxapex. yeah. Which no one ever thought it was, like, super good, but... I always did. I love Toxapex. Toxapex Garb is one of my favorite decks to love. Oh, thank Start goodness. Start not Shaman. We're not starting with the Shaman. We can attach... <laughs> We get attached to the Voltar, and then we can max Electric to the Shaman on the bench, and then we can Ultra Ball for a Coco and have two energies on it already. Yeah. And then give it the Choice Band, too. I have a plan, okay? These are my fave. I like these sleeves. I got them yesterday. Those steel gear sleeves things. Oh, what is... We got them out of the shop. This is Radicate and uh, Ariados, Radicate Break. He gets on one damage oh, and Ariados yeah. activates Poison Nest. I've always wanted to build this deck. We'll grab a Coco. This, sir, is what you call a plan. Then you want a Shaman. Yeah, right. Because you want to get more cards. Yep. Then Max Elixir. And then, then Coco. Coco. Then Choice Ban. And Ooh. Ape of Paradise. Nice. Hey, we hit it. Wait, did I fail it? You might have. I, I failed it. I didn't. I thought I clicked on the enemy, but I didn't. Whoops. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Okay. This isn't... And now we have no supporters in our hands, and we can't attack next turn, which we would have been able to do. Let's see. Oh, man. Sorry. Did you get rid of Rocky Break already? Yes, yep. he did. Yeah, uh, I've always wanted to make something like this, but we've never found any luck getting eradicate breaks. So, in real life or on here, never any eradicate breaks. Shea Bay, Ooh, full, full art. art. Oh, you think you're better than us, huh? Probably, but... <laughs> How many energy does it take for eradicate breaks to attack? I was just wondering that. A DC, okay. Or two energies. And you can get rid of the tools on our bench on our Pokemon when you that's what happens when you place on eradicate. I mean Rattatic. It's annoying. 
Well, I guess we don't need choice, man. Why would we attach it? We can automatically one hit knock out a shaman because of a weakness. And then nothing else is EXs. That right. one's 110. Ooh, yeah. Wally up and eradicate. His back is only at 60 HP. Or so Arid like... Aridus. Now, if we do top deck some kind of supporter, we could electrode. Yeah. There's a chance. He'd eradicate on the bench. So I'm kind of by... That's why he has the Aridus, because the Aridus poisons both people. I that can't be affected. So we have to manually attach. Then I say so we can Lysander up the Shea for stalling. Right? Sure. I thought we were going to Lysander up the other Raticate. The one that he already had evolved, so we can kill it. Well, we don't have any enough energy, is the only thing. True, and then we take your prizes off the Shea also, so if we get no Shea. If we get an Electrode, we'll do it, because we have to, but, like, I don't want an Electrode. Top decking a, uh, Sycamore right now would be clutch. Or even a Lele. Anything, really. Top decking anything. And Pulse. any supporter. Just, like, crushing hammer. Thanks. Or Max Lexer, so I'm the Voltorb. I failed that one earlier. <laughs> that was fun. Well, we probably could have won this game by now. We have oh, three energy stretcher. We bring Radicate right back. Yep, and he's gonna evolve. Yep. And it's only a one energy attachment to retreat a Shay. Eva so dead. So another Radicate. Yep. Has he supported this turn? I wasn't watching. No. Probably the second one was the very last thing in his hand. No, it's not. Okay, that's super trolly. Hey. hey! We're giving him more cards, but it has to be done. Energy. Okay, awesome. So. And then more supporters. We're just gonna sky high claws for a knockout. That's all we can do. Attach, and then should we attach the float to Shay? Yeah, sure, because we don't want it up there. Sky high claws for knockout. He pulls a ragged break next turn though, and puts it on the one that has the energies. Uh, this type of goes dead. Yeah. But we do have a Lysander, so we can Lysi up the Radicate break with no energies and murk it. Unless he has a DCE in his hand right now and he puts up the Radicate break. Oh, that scares me. Is that when you evolve or once during your turn? Yeah, you can just activate it. And then both Pokemon get poisoned, but he can't be affected by special conditions, because that's what that Radicate is. Mm -hmm. There was a... There, this deck was made to be put together. Ariados and uh, Antibodies Radicate. And Radicate break. And we see the DCE. Activates Poison's Nest. Oh, Hyper or Tapu Lele. Oh, he, he just has to be better than us. A Fallout Shaman and a Hyper or Tapu Lele. I see how it is. We have to bring it. And we'll bring up the Shaman Flow. I'm like, we have to bring up the Voltorb next turn. And <laughs> no. Bring up the thing with the Float Stone. Yep. No, at the end, probably. Or if he forgets to activate Poisonous Nest. That would be great. I doubt that'll happen, though. He probably played a bunch with this thing. Ooh, another Ultra Ball for Another Radicate, probably. Yeah. Or, oh, oh look, Rimura. He got rid of a sh Sushi Master to get Rimura. Baby Sushi Master. I haven't played Fate of Summer with an Octillery in a long time. Oh, Parallel City, what is... Hopefully we pull... Yeah, we can only bench three Pokemon. Okay. If we tapped up to Lele or something, we couldn't bench it. Now his hand's empty, so we don't want to end. Oh, we don't really want to stick more either. No, it's oh, not never mind. Anymore. No, no, he wallied into an Octillery. This man is setting up like that. And here comes the poison and Super Fang. That's what it's called? Yeah, Super Fang. Oh my gosh. We'll that is up, the trolliest thing ever. We'll bring up the Shea with a float. Um. I'm not sure what to do. Nail. Maybe we can find an Ultra Ball. 
All right, Ace of Paradise would be more helpful. Because we're just going to end. And we don't really want to end. We only get four cards. Then we get rid of his cards, too. We don't want to get rid of Seeker and his energy. Um. Well, we could attach to one of the Boltorbs. Then if we did get a Coco, then we could use the Arrow Trail. Or that would be sort of more helpful to get our guy through right now. True. Should we just end? We'd end him into four. And then ourselves into four. We ha I, I say we say more. That's sort of what we have to do. And then we get an Ultra Ball for a ride through, and then we can Electro, and then we can manually attach. So we get rid of the other Voltorb, so there's one ride through. Electro is not going to happen. And then we get rid of Kukui, because we're going to have an empty hand. And then we're going to grab Raikou. Let's see. We only have one Coco. The other one's prized. Or, no, he got it knocked out. Never mind. Yeah. So Sam. And then Max Lux to the Raikou, and manually attached to the Raikou, and Electro to the Raikou. And that's how you get knocked out by the Eradicate, but you know. Anything will get knocked out by Eradicate. But we're hitting for 130, so we're going to knock it out. And then we're going to put up Shaman with the Float Stone again next turn. And I would like to find another Raikou, because then he won't win automatically if he any kills it. Okay, there's a chance. Since we got rid of that thing. One of the most annoying things, though, is breaks don't give up two prizes. They only give up one prize. I know. So, you know, there's Radicate Break and Golden Ninja Frog. And I don't really know what else is super play playable at Xerneas Break. Oh, yeah, Xerneas Break, too. Ooh, Bursting Balloon. Oh, man, man, claw, it's so break. That's totally playable, and everyone uses that. He's pulling the DCE back. Oh, my gosh. And Shay. You know, if we do hit a VS Seeker or a Lysander, you know, VS Seeker, we could VS Seeker for a Lysander, and then bring out the Shay. And I'll bring out Aria Dose. Yeah, that too. And killing Aria Dose is sort of our number one priority right now. See, he knew we were probably going to try to do that, so he had a Bursting Balloon on Ariados also, even though it's on the bench. And Sushi Master. Three Bursting Balloons. And then he's, got, he's, he's preparing for any possible contingency. Except for the fact that we'd snipe any eggs off the bench. Yeah. Rip to this Raikou right here. And we have nothing, so we'll have to pull up Shaman, and then we'll have to set up a whole other Pokemon in one turn again. We have to continue to set up one turn Pokemon, and then let them die again. Yeah, pretty much. We don't even want to use the mail, maybe? Um... Not really. What are we most likely is getting rid of? Nope, just fail it. We don't want to get rid of any of that. And then the Sycamore. Here we go. Here we go, try this again. We got an Ultra Ball. Um, okay, Ultra Ball away. Aether Paradise. And Sycamore, because we have a Coco. But don't put it on the bench yet. Because we want to... Coco or Raikou? Raikou. We will be in one prize attacker. Oh, there's no possible way you can do it this turn anyway, Sam. You can only get two energies from a max elixir. Oh, yeah. Because we already used our supporter, because we didn't pull any actual energy. Well, we'll attach a fairy belt. He's still gonna die. Well, we don't. We can feed him the Voltorb. Ooh, that is true. But then it wouldn't have been better to have Coco. I guess it doesn't even matter, because, like, uh, they're sort of either way. They're gonna die. Anything can get one shot at this thing. So it's how we pull an energy, feed him the Voltorb. Well, we have a Lele, so we need Lele for Sycamore. Fresh seven. Yeah. Look at that. Twelve cards. Twelve cards. Oh boy. I go hold the bursting balloons. Well, 
I'm sorry to say it, folks, but I don't think we're going to be pulling out this one. Yeah, it just eradicate break. It's really annoying, especially when you pile a bunch of energy on a Raikou and then... Get murked. And then yeah. you have to do the same thing over every single turn with a Raikou or a Coco. Next turn again, you try to pile energy on and then get one shot every time. You can't stop it from getting one shot. And this guy got set up so efficiently, too, man. If we draw in two... No, if we draw in two an energy... We could Lele for Lysander, Lysander up the Ariados. Oh yeah, so then he has no guaranteed way, and he just doesn't play Force of Giant Plants, so there's no guaranteed way he could get a knockout of... You'd have to draw into an energy, though. And I don't know if we have it. Oh, <laughs> darn. Uh, VS Seeker for Sycamore. Yeah, and just Sycamore away to Lele, then. Yeah. So, so we'll get the knockout on this Raticate, but he has another one ready to go. We were that close. We were pretty close. We Three actually prizes. could have pulled that out. Now we're going to have two prizes left because we're going to kill this Raticate. As long as we have an energy in our deck still. Hey. We do. And it's super annoying because his attack is putting damage counters on, not actually doing actual damage. So the Anti Paradise doesn't help, and Shining Body doesn't help. That's tough. And he's powering up a Lele. This is tough, man. We tried. Yeah, I mean, we did good. Well... Bravo to this guy. Yeah. Most solid round of break deck I've ever seen. Well, this has been uh, our Tapu Koko and Raikou deck profile, and this is uh, Bulbasaur Bros TCG signing off.